Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ken Laris of the Frail Ninjas, and this is my guide for the daily collection of items and resources. As with all money-making guides, prices will fluctuate, so there's no way to guarantee an exact profit amount, but rest assured I have been doing daily collections for over two years and has always been making me large profit every day. Since my last version of this guide, which was released in February of 2012, the steps done for my daily guides have changed quite a bit. Updates such as rune span have completely removed the ability to profit off buying runes, but new methods have been discovered and I can assure you that you will still easily make over 1 million GP a day from these dailies. There are still a lot of steps which are the same, so not everything is brand new. Unfortunately, in order to ensure the largest profit, some steps added have made the total time to complete this list a little bit longer than before, so pick and choose which steps you feel to be worth a profit based on the time you wish to spend, but for this guide I have included every detail of every step to show maximum profits. Now there are many requirements for completing many of these dailies, so each time I give a step of the area to visit, I will also make note of the requirement to do so. But as a heads up, I did spend over about 1.5 mil GP purchasing all of the items, so to start off you will need around 1.6 million in order to purchase everything listed in this guide. So let's dig in. First you're going to start in Varrock, go to the staff shop and buy as many battle staffs from NAF as you can if you have completed at least the easy Varrock task. After this teleport to Camelot and run south to the Beehive and Flaxfield and talk to Jeffrey in the Flaxfield to receive your free Flax if you have completed at least the easy Sears achievement diary. From here, run into Catherby and talk to Arhine, the general store owner. He's just south of the bank, and from him, buy your max of seaweed and pineapples. You will have to talk to him. You will not be able to purchase these in the store itself. Go through the option of talking to him. From here, you will just want to run east and harvest from your fruit tree. Next, teleport to Yanil. Once in Yanil, go to the northwest corner by the house portal and enter the house with Bert inside. Talk to him to have 84 buckets of sand delivered into your bank, but remember you must have completed Hand in the Sand quest in order for this to happen. After this, run straight east to the cooking shop and trade with Frenita to buy all pots of flour and chocolate bars. One trick I have developed is buy the bars first, and as you continue to buy the flour, another 10 bars should be back in stock to purchase, allowing you to make the most profits. Note, you will have to run to the Anil bank, so your familiar will come in handy here. This can take quite a bit of a time, a few minutes, and you will only make around 40k profit, so some players may not find this time very well spent, but the option does exist. Next, teleport to Ardoin. Run over to the Legends Guild and climb all the way to the top and trade Siegfried Urkel to buy all Mithril Seeds. Of course, you will need to have completed the Legends quest in order to access this. But after this, run back towards Ardoin and talk to the Wizard Cromperty to collect all of your Max Rune Essence if you have obtained at least an Ardoin Cloak 2. After this, run into the town square with all of the stalls and find the Baker's Stall and buy all chocolate bars. You will need to run to the bank. Also note, there are two bankers in town square which will each sell you 100 bars, so make sure to collect on all of those. After this, next run to the general store and purchase all packs of Vial of Water and Ropes. Next, go to Port Sarum, run south to the fishing store and talk to Garrett, buy 1,000 feathers from him. From here, run south another store to find Wyden. Trade him and buy all pots of flour and chocolate bars. Note this is similar to buying the flour in Yanil and will take around 10 minutes to collect it all. Also remember the trick is to buy the bars first and as you continue to buy the flour another 10 bars should be back in stock to purchase allowing you to make the most profits. There is a bank deposit box to the north on the docks near the Monks of Entrana. After this teleport to the Barbarian Outpost using your games necklace and run up to the lighthouse. Once in the lighthouse, head upstairs to the second floor and speak with Jossic. From him, buy all vial of water packs and buy all Greenman's Ale. Next, you teleport to mobilizing armies using your Ring of Dueling and run east to Uglog. Trade with Charger and purchase all raw bird meat packs. Next, run to the general store and trade with Fraud to buy 1,000 feathers and all ropes. Note, you must have at least started as a first resort quest in order to access these shops. After this, teleport to Draenor using your Amulet of Glory 
and run north to the Draenor Manor. Once in here, on the first floor, enter the west room and trade Ava. Buy 1,000 feathers from her. Note, you must have completed the animal magnetism quest in order to access these supplies. After you're done there, teleport to Lumbridge. If you have completed Recipe for Disaster, you can buy the 300 chocolate bars from the chest below the cook in the castle. After this, run to the fishing store and buy 1,000 feathers from Hank. Next, either run or teleport closer to Shanti Pass. Once here, trade Shanti and buy 1,000 feathers and all 100 ropes from him. Next, teleport to Shiloh Village. Head to Obli in the general store and buy all packs of vial of water and ropes. Next, run over to the fishing store and purchase 1,000 feathers. After this, climb the ladder and run up to Dordel or Lapalak. Trade him and buy all of his broad arrow heads and unfinished broad bolts. But you must finish the Smoking Kills quest in order to purchase these. After here, teleport to Taverly. Run south to find Jaddix. Buy all packs of Eye of Newt from him. After this, run east and trade with Turiel or Spira and buy all of the unfinished broad bolts and broad arrow heads from there as well. But again, you must, can, you must have finished the Smoking Kills quest in order to purchase these. Next, run northeast and find Poltax, trade him and buy all packs of Eye of Newt and also buy all packs of Vial of Water. Next, you'll want to head to the Fishing Guild and trade with Rochi in the building south of the bank. From him, buy all 1,000 feathers. Next, teleport to Relica. In the market area, find the Fishmonger and trade him and buy 1,000 feathers. After this, in the same market, find Sigmund the Merchant and trade him to buy all vial of water packs and ropes. Now head to Miscellanea, find the fishmonger and buy 1,000 feathers. Now run east into Cetria and trade the, their fishmonger for another 1,000 feathers. Note that you must have completed the Fremnic Trials quest in order to get on the island. After this is done, head back to Relica. From here, run to the boat to take you to Jadiso. Please note you must have at least started the Fremnic Isle quest in order to get to Jadiso. Once here, run north to the food store and find Van Liga Gasfried and buy all 1,000 yak hides. Note, there is a bank to the southeast for the easiest and fastest banking. Also, you must either pay a tax of 5,000 coins during the quest, or if you did not do this during the quest, you can pay it to her after this to unlock the option to purchase the yak hides from her. The next place to visit will be Lunar Island. Make sure to bank most items before going. You will need at least 24 free spaces. Once on Lunar Island, head to the city and go north into Baba Yaga's house and buy all battle staffs from her. Remember, you must have at least started the quest, the Lunar Diplomacy, in order to access this area. From here, you will want to get to Brimhaven House Portal. Delmonte will be walking around here. Speak to him to get 40 free pineapples if you have completed all easy Kramja task. He will also get 40 apples if you have completed all elite Kramja task as well. While here, also head north to the docks and collect from your fruit tree. After this, you will want to get onto Entrana. Remember, no armors or weapons with combat stats can be worn here. There are many ways to get here, but I suggest teleporting to Port Sarum and taking the boat. Players may also teleport to the Law Altar and enter this way, but whatever's fastest for you will work. But once on the island, run west of the docks and find Frankos and buy all I have new packs from him. Next, head to Port Kazard. From Brimhaven, you can simply run to the docks and run north to use the charter ships. Once here, trade the shopkeeper and buy all pots of flour. There is a bank deposit box on the docks for the fastest banking method. Again, this will take around 5 to 10 minutes. The last step for everything will then just to be harvest your, all of your fruit trees that we haven't hit yet. You will still need to visit the Gnome Stronghold, the plot west of the Gnome Village, and also in Lietta. But after that, you are finally all done. Start cashing in at the GE. You can price whatever you wish, but even listing at 5% under will almost always make huge profits on everything. You can see in the picture up now that at GE's suggested price, the total value of everything is just shy of 2.7 mil. 
Now, when I look back, as I said earlier, I've spent over a little bit more than 1.5 mil to purchase all these items. So in a perfect world, you could round your profits to right at being 1.2 mil GP. However, once sold in the GE, I would decided to decrease some items, but after selling, I still made 1 mil GP. Also, there are tons of distractions and diversions, such as a shooting star in the evil tree, which can earn you daily profits, but I feel these are totally different than the dailies guide for this context. This is just a quick way to go around and gather items to be able to turn around in the GE quickly for a large profit. But that is all I have to show you for this updated dailies guide. Please comment and subscribe for more guides in the future. Thanks for watching.